video is going to show you how to add filters to the activity and training uh, hours, points, detail, or summary report. I'm going to start off by making a copy of the existing report. We'll select the report, give it a new name. We're going to do this by shift. And basically copy the report name and paste it into the query. All of these are going to be done through the customized SQL language. The reason why they did this is the union statement, which is right here in the middle, is the statement that can't be done in the query builder in Firehouse. So it has to be done with a custom query uh, statement. In here, everything that you see on the top of the union is going to be the same as the bottom of the union statement. The only thing you have at the end is what it's going to be ordered by. The numbers 3, 4, 5, 2, 8 are going to be field number three which is going to be last field four is first and so on if we want to add a field to this SQL statement we're just going to have to add the field to the top and the bottom of the statement one before the union and one after the union we're going to go ahead and add the staff main uh, shift field we're going to do that after the last field in line which is activity participant pay scale so we're going to go ahead and add staff underscore main dot shift and we have to do the same thing on the other end of the union statement so we're going to add it right here at this point all we've really done is added the shift field into our query the same way we would add it in our query builder as a field at the end of our uh, statement one of the last things we're going to see is the where and that's the same thing as our filter adding a value. So what we're going to do is in the last part of the statement right here, we're going to add and the staff main shift equals, and we're going to do this just for C shift. This is going to do the activities. Down here we want to do the training. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the same thing that we added at the top again at the bottom. that will give us only C shift personnel on this query and what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and run this I'm going to show you that the shift is in there and that the only personnel showing up are on C shift it's going to ask us for query parameters we say yes we're just going to go back and select a set of dates And if we preview this report, one of the things we can do is under our staff person, we can go ahead and add their shift because it'll now be in our list of available fields. And if we preview our layout, everybody that's in there will be on C shift. And these are my C shift personnel. So that is how you can add a filter into the activity and training points detail and uh, get better data out of Firehouse.